it's me Eileen at Crafty Eileenies. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much. Mwah, much love. And if you're new, kisses to you too. I'm so happy that you joined us today. I hope you like what you see on my channel today. And I'd really love for you to be part of my Crafty Eileenie World family. Yes, I would. Why? That's my husband. He interrupted. I'm not going to edit this out. He's staring at me like if I'm a nut. <laughs> he doesn't realize that I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> he thinks I'm talking to myself. Should we start again? Nah, we're not going to start again. If you're new, please, I hope you subscribe. And by subscribing, don't forget, click that bell. That bell is going to notify you every time I upload a new video. Yes, it will. By that, I hope you all like what I do today. And give me a big thumbs up. That thumbs up's gonna let me know that you like what I'm doing. And also, it helps my channel grow. So thank you. Today, you're probably wondering why I am so into this red and blue and holding this little guy. I am in a red, white, and blue challenge today. And it's hosted by Heidi Sumble DIY. Go check her out. She, uh, I love that she always calls everybody homegirl, and I think that's pretty cool because I grew up hearing homegirl like, you know, that's what you call your friends, you know, your fellow ladies. Hey, homegirl, what's up? So I do like that. I'll leave information in my description below, and it'll be on my playlist so you can check out all the other red, white, and blue challenges too, all the other DIYers and creators. I think it's awesome. I love doing this. Um, I don't know. I'm really getting kind of into these <laughs> challenges. I find it really fun. So I hope you guys do like what I make. Go check the other videos and the other beautiful creators out. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one and keep on smiling. Mwah. Do I really want to end it like that? Yeah. No. Nah. I'm going to say it. What do I always say? Make it till you smile. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah. Okay, guys, we're going to start with our little round gift box. We're going to start putting some Mod Podge, that's what I did first on the gift box. If you are using a gift box, please use Mod Podge because it the spackle wasn't sticking to the box itself. I needed something, a base coat for it to stick. Waverly White Chalk Paint, we're gonna put some inside our spackle and stir it around just so we get a creamy white frosting. Because the spackle, when it's by itself, it does dry like a gray tone and we don't want frosting gray tone. So we're just going to spread that around. You're going to see me get a little cup of water. So I would start off with a little cup of water beside you just so you can mix. And I would dip my little butter knife in that cup and it would come out so creamy, like really easier to spread. So I would suggest doing that from the beginning. See, and it makes it so much more easier with the water. So I would just get spackle, put it on there, and then dip my my uh, little plastic butter knife and just start smoothing it out. If you don't want those lines, you don't have to use a butter knife. You could use whatever you want on there. Uh, but I just throw them away after I'm done with it. So <laughs> I don't like to bother with all that sometimes. But there, you see, I'm just dipping my knife, my little... Uh, butter knife in there and I dip it in the spackle and I just keep frosting and that's all you do Dollar Tree does carry these styrofoam blocks and their circles and then there's some that are square if you use any of those you do not have to use the Mod Podge process the spackle sticks nicely to those And now I'm sprinkling some of that fake iridescent snow. You can put glitter on there if you like. If you don't want to do the white snow, you could do gold or silver glitter. It would look just as pretty. 
I put my rose in there. Everything I'm doing is while it's wet because when this dries, it dries really hard and nothing goes anywhere. So you don't even have to glue it down. So that's nice. Now I'm getting the caulk stuff, the, I don't know, it's caulking. And I'm just swirling it around, nothing pretty, just swirling it around in there. And these little, I got, I use the large pearls. They're from the Dollar Tree. They carry these. You can find them in the floral section, in the craft section. And I use the large pearl beads. And I just put them right in there around the rows. Again, I didn't glue them because they glue, they, once it dries, they're in there. And now I'm using blue food coloring. It's blue food coloring. You can use paint, uh, whatever you have, paint or the food coloring. And I just mix it in with some water. And I got that butter knife and I all I did was just dip it and let drops of the water just fall right down the edge, right down the sides. I wanted it to look like an airbrush I was going for, or, you know, like a, a drip airbrush. That's what I'm trying to do. I am not a baker, cake designer, so it's probably not, some people are probably going to look at this and go, oh my gosh. But if, hey, have at it. That's what this is about, is having fun and you crafting and smiling at what you're making, right? That's what's fun about crafting. We make it till we smile to what your eyes are happy with. I'm telling you, I had fun doing it. And they, to me, they come out so beautiful when they're dry and all done. Oh, I love it. So now I'm getting the white Waverly chalk paint and I put it with some water and stirred it and I'm doing the same process as I did the blue. I just went all the way around and just went to the edges and on top and let it just drip on there. Now I'm going to move the cake onto a piece of cardboard. I put it on a wax paper because it was easy to turn and you know maneuver but I didn't want it to sit in the water, so I uh, put it on a piece of cardboard while it dried. And now I'm just putting some ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. I love this ribbon. I'm really into this ribbon right now, it's so cute. And I just put it on the bottom of the cake for my red, white, and blue. I added some baby's breath I just cut from my flower arrangements that I have in my home, the little baby's breath. And I got those from Walmart. And then the stars was from an old Christmas wreath I had. But you can use gold pipe cleaners and glue stars on them and do the same thing and it looked just as cute. Now I'm just getting this orange, I don't know, what do you wanna call it? Ice cream cup I got at the Dollar Tree. And I am painting it with the white Waverly chalk paint. And I just do the inner side right there on the top. And I'm putting it all around just for a base coat. It doesn't have to be completely covered because it's just a base coat. Try to calm that orange down a little. And now I'm gonna use my Apple Barrel Brown and I'm just gonna paint over that white Waverly paint. And if you have spray paint, brown spray paint, I would go that route. It would probably be easier because, uh, I don't know, to me it was a lot of, uh, I think a brown, just put this way, I think a brown spray paint would probably cover it better. But I mean, this did work. It did work doing it this way also. You know, I do crafting by budget and what I have on hand so that's the process I did now this paper I got from the Dollar Tree you know when they wrap your glassware when you buy glassware and they wrap it up in their brown paper towels 
I've had this stuff forever and I always save it and, and um that's what I used you can use paper bags you can use uh packing paper same process you twirl it around see how I twisted it twirled it around and then now I just put glue and you're just gonna spin it around over each other like what you make the flowers or a snail you know how a snail shell looks you're just gonna swirl it around each other you glue it and then you're gonna press on it in the middle on the bottom in the middle press up just to give it like a little bump up to make it bump up a little and that's our ice cream cotton balls I know you guys my hands look terrible I get lost in my crafting zone and I never realize what my hands look like until I look at this and I was like woo aren't those lovely <laughs> but uh yeah I get lost like I said in my crafting zone so now we're just gonna put some Mod Podge on the top of our ice cream I'm calling it our ice cream because that's what it is I love chocolate Rocky Road ice cream so that's what I'm basically making is chocolate ice cream so uh anyway you use generous amount of your Mod Podge yeah if I put that if you don't like your hands dirty on this part right here just wear gloves because this one is uh squishy I find it therapeutic <laughs> I find it relaxing you just soak it on and to the, to the cotton balls and you start rearranging I mean this method I think is the best I know it's a lot of you know messiness but I'm telling you it looks like whipped cream once it's dry and you just keep opening up cotton balls and placing them on top and then you use a generous amount of Mod Podge and you just build it up to the way you want it to look yeah I know my hands it's probably driving you guys nuts looking at my hands I'm so sorry to those who uh, to those who it are not happy with my hands <laughs> but I do I get lost in my crafting and I just start doing everything with it just like don't even pay attention so now I put my little it's like that's like a little um what do you call it puff ball I put up there for a cherry you get those at the Dollar Tree and I got my straws at the Dollar Tree just cut a little piece of it and put my straw in there put a little bit of glue on the tip and it stays and I Mod Podged my whole, my whole cup. You don't have to, that is preference. If you want to, you, you can do it. If not, you don't have to. Now this ribbon I got at Walmart. And I just fold it over. See, I'm just making simple ribbons. I fold it over and then I got the piece of that smaller ribbon that I got the Dollar Tree tied it in the middle, fixed it the way I want it to sit, and then I put little duck tails on it, and I glued it right in front of the cups. that was loud I'm sorry that was paper <laughs> so now I just glue it right in the front yay I'm really liking these they're so cute I don't know it's just reminds me of summer sweet 4th of July you know and I just, I like the little Sunday, the little shake Sunday. It's a shake. It's a chocolate shake. And they're so cute and refreshed looking. So cute. Now I'm just gluing the same ribbon, the smaller ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm just wrapping it on the bottom. 
And voila, we are done, guys. I hope you enjoyed these two projects we made today. It was my pleasure crafting with you. This is my favorite part of my videos when my vision comes to life and I get to share it with y'all. This time I like to thank Heidi Sumball DIY for hosting this lovely challenge, this red, white, and blue challenge. I had a lot of fun. If you're visiting from another channel, thank you for dropping on in on Crafty Lini. I really hope you decide to be part of my Crafty Lini world. Don't forget to check the playlist. And there's other for the other, <laughs> I get tongue-tied, guys. You'll learn that a lot about me. But there's check out the playlist for all the other lovely creators and inspirate for inspiration and ideas. And you can find all the information in description below. Well, I hope you had fun. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. To all my subscribers, thank you and I love you. Until we meet again, guys, keep on smiling, okay? Bye.